Hello everyone and welcome to Tear Prince and I have found a fixture and fitting. He's been here since the Ice Age. This is the paddock steward. This is the one and only Mick O'Brien. How are you Mick? All right sir. All looking right. forward to another season ready oh, to go. Yes, yes, I was looking forward to it. Now, it's great. you are a jack of all trades aren't you? Yes, yes, lorry driver, coach driver, you name it, I've been there. Now, Tonight, you're here, just checking them in, yep. horse boxes. Yep. Will you be out on the track at all? No, I'll be in the, stu in the paddock office, right. there, um, uh, allocating the horses out on the race, and when they're race due on the track. Right. Now, my, my, my message to you out there is, if you don't know this bloke, then you're not into harness racing. He is, he is he, he's everywhere. Wherever you go at Tear Prince, this man is there. Now, just tell us a little bit about your association with harness racing, with trotting. How many years have you been involved in this great sport? Been racing 40 odd years. Right, and where did you start and when? I started at uh, this type of racing at Chasewater. Right, and how did you get in? We, I mean, you know, who got you into harness racing? <laughs> uh, David Taff. Right, right, in Chasewater. Yes. Yeah, so what was the intro? What, what did he say to you? Well, he said, uh, I need somebody to give me a hand with horses. He said, I know you, I've heard about you, you ride horses out. Right. He said, um, come up and see me on uh, Saturday morning at uh, half past seven, which I did do. Yeah. And he said, uh, I've got a horse here for you. To you, haven't got to do, you haven't got to check these in, have you? No, he'll <laughs> no, do that. No, right, he'll do okay, that right. for me. He'll right. do that for yeah, me. Right. So, yeah, so half past seven on the Saturday morning. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, away I went. So he got another one out and come up behind me. And we went and started from there. Right, but you were saying that you were you were into riding horses before that. Yes, I was in for riding horses before that. I was in when I was a young lad. I started work when I was twelve years of age. Yes. In Southern Ireland. Right. Yeah, and I rode uh, as an apprenticeship. You rode as an apprentice jockey. Yes, yeah. You were, and uh, who did you work for? <clears throat> Mr. O'Brien, Vincent O'Brien. Did you? Yeah. Now I didn't know that. Yeah, 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 I did, yeah. Oh my, I mean, and Vincent O'Brien, I'm sure everyone out there knows who Vincent O'Brien was. Vincent O'Brien, legendary trainer, the greatest trainer we've had flat and jumping uh, since the Second World War. A guy who won Cheltenham Gold Cups, champion hurdles, three grand nationals with three different horses, umpteen Epsom derbies and classics, you name it. And you worked for Vincent O'Brien. Yes, yes, yes. And um, what got me off it was that I couldn't earn any money on it. Right. At the time, the money then in them days was peanuts, and uh, and I was working. If I went out with uh, three or four horses in the horse box at um, six o'clock in the morning, I wasn't home until twelve o'clock midnight, and I still had to get up in the morning at six o'clock to ride out. Wow, well, that was regular. That's well, clockwork. So you left school at twelve, and that was your first job. Yes, yeah. Right, and then you came over to the UK. You yeah. were, you were in the West Midlands. You were in Chasewater. Yeah. Uh, you work for Taffy at, Taffy, at yeah. Chasewater, yeah. and then what about your association with Tear Prince and North Wales? <laughs> Funny enough, I came up here when they were building the track. That was in 1990. This Tear Prince, when it was building, first started to build it, and um, <clears throat> and I saw a Mr. Williams. Yeah. Yeah, senior. Yes. And um, he said, uh, "Yes, are you interested in a job?" Yeah. I said, well, it depends what sort of job you're offering me. Anyway, he had horses in training here himself. Yes. His own horses. <laughs> he said, there's a job for you to start straight away in the morning. Right. And that was horses in the first barn he had up home in his farm. Yes. And I worked up there for a while until they got this sorted out. In, in Trevenant? Yes. In Trevenant, yeah. yeah. So you, you've been at Tear Prince since they laid the foundations. Laid the foundations, yeah. And what jobs have you done at Tear Prince? What sort of positions have you held over the years? <laughs> the mowing, you name it, on the track I've done it. You've done it. You've, you, you used to drive the starter's car? Starter car, yeah. And you've been the starter? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And done. I know you're a master of the microphone. When you need to get those drivers and trainers out on the track, I don't pick the mic up, you do it. I do it, yes. You, you've got that voice of authority, Mick. Yes, they've got, to go, they've got to come because otherwise I tell them they're before the stewards and they get fined. Yeah. And I don't want to be doing that to you, lads. You, you know, you're intelligent more than that. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. So, and uh, they used to do what I asked of them. 
Well, I'll tell you what, I think this guy has to be a nomination, a definite nomination for services to harness racing this year. Mick, without you, without people such as yourself, hardworking, dedicated, enthusiastic, the game wouldn't go. No, no. The game wouldn't go. No. So, so tonight, Paddock Steward and then... <clears throat> what, so so what, you, what, what are your jobs tonight, After once everyone's arrived? Once everybody's arrived, I'm in there to allocate the, uh, the qualifiers on. Yeah. First off, yeah. when they're done, yeah. then allocated the horses for racing out next. Yeah. Yeah. One after the other. Yes. From first till six. Yes. Six races. Yeah. Allocate them onto the track. And do people listen to you? Yeah. They do listen to you. Right. I think you've got a job to do tonight, haven't you? Yes, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, he's been here since the Ice Age. It is the one and only Mick O'Brien. Mick, Thank you very much. Thank you. Well done.